Good afternoon, everyone. Elsa the Bargain Hunter here. I'm here to bring you my progress on my uh, mass production of NDC, MDC cards for the frontline workers. Um, I should change that because I've decided to not do just MDC cards. As you can see, there are several things here. And um, as I go along, I'm going to thank those that have helped me. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. It's incredible. Um, I'm actually holding my tablet. That's why it's looking a little bit blurry. I do apologize for that. But um, let me begin. So I've gotten all the layouts done. My next step after this, once I choose, is what paper pad or paper pads I'll be using to use as a background for these creations that I'm making from for frontline workers. Um, so here are the MDC cards that I've decided on. I did, uh, I want to say, 30 of these. As you can see, they still need to be rounded off, but that's an easy step. I'll get to that towards the end. And um, after watching uh, a tutorial and also after receiving supportive comments and supportive text messages, supportive emails, guys, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, the outpour of encouragement that I've gotten from you guys has been amazing, and I truly appreciate that. So I watched some tutorials on ATC, not ATC cards. I got to get these names right. Three by three cards. Um, I said, you know what? That's easy enough. So I made a bunch of these, all different colors. Now, the paper that I used was from an Amazon pack that I bought. I used it on the MDCs, and I used it on the 3x3s. So I did that. Now, these guys were amazing to cut super fast, super easy, thanks to my sister, Linda, over at Linda's Thrifty Life. Now, this here, Linda... Um, Gifted to me as an entry for my challenge about a month or so ago. And sis, this is amazing. Guys, it's sharp. It's small. It fits anywhere. And I started cutting these. Took me half an hour maybe. And I made 40 of them. So it took me half an hour to just cut them. And then I used this ruler. And I measured uh, 9 inches down six inches across and I folded six inches across nine inches down to get the paper to the right size and then in between I I um, measured three inches so I got my three by three cards in, in a matter of seconds so that was very very helpful so I want to thank Linda for that sis thank you and <laughs> you made it so quick and easy um I received several emails from Jay if you guys don't know her, Jay is a YouTuber here on YouTube, and she hasn't posted a video in about three weeks. Um, she's in Canada, but she, guys, she's a sweetheart. She has commented on my videos, and she has also taken the time to email me, give me suggestions, uh, maybe do this, maybe do that. She's actually the one that inspired me to do a little bit more than just MDC cards. And I like the idea because, honestly, I would have been overwhelmed just making MDC cards. There's so much I want to do, there's so much I want to learn, and there's no way I can learn unless I do it. So she really encouraged me. Jay, thank you so, so much. And um, she's given me tips, advice. She's offered to help me with anything and everything, and she has been there, guys. So for that, I thank you, sweetheart. And um, she mentioned the ATC cards, that they were pretty simple to make. I was like, but I don't know, I've never made one. And um, I don't know, I just wasn't... I wasn't enthusiastic about finding the tutorial, and then when I was, it wasn't, the, I don't know, I just couldn't find the right tutorial. So then uh, my sweets, Christina, over in Christina, Michigan, I'm also going to attach her link in the description box, has suggested getting some playing cards and using those because those are the same size. I was like, perfect. Now these playing cards right here, I got them on clearance for, I think it was 10 cents. 10, maybe 20 cents, no more. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to lose anything. I'm going to use these. I'm not losing much money. So I used these. And then, if you guys remember, for those of you guys who have been with me for a while, this is the shelf liner that I got when I first moved here to uh, line up the shelves of, the, of my craft room. I never got around to using it. Life happens. As a matter of fact, 
my craft room is actually going to be moving upstairs to the um, empty room. Um, and I'll just be using the downstairs as my craft storage, which is amazing. Because going up and down the stairs. And anyway, we have a room available now. So I'm glad I never used it. So anyway, this shelf liner is adhesive. And as you can see, what I did was I lined up the cards on there. Removed the adhesive, stuck the card on there, cut around them. Now, this is the back of the cards. As you can see, that's the front. I did that with all the cards. And I just glued the back. Isn't that amazing? I do have to cut the edges, as you can see. No big deal. I'll get to that towards the end. <laughs> so I did, I don't know, maybe 40 of these as well. I don't know, 30, 40, I'm not sure. But I got them all done today. This and these I got done today. Um, what else was it? Oh my God, I just drew a blank. Oh, these cards. These cards were given to me by my hubby. And he said, can you use these? I was like, heck yeah. It's a big pile of sheets. Now, look at the size, guys. Look at that. I'm planning, if you guys let me know if that's a good idea, of inserting a sheet and cutting it to size, which is going to be very little that I need to cut, and inserting them in the inside of the 3x3 three three cards to create um, the inside, and I plan to stamp it. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to I'm gonna work with that and see what I can do. But this is these are going to be used on these, so I want to thank my hubby as well for helping me. You guys have been so supportive. And um, it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. I greatly appreciate you guys all. And then, in case you guys noticed, this mat right here, guess who grabbed this for me? And guess from where? Turns out that my local Dollar Tree has a new craft section, and it is amazing. Um, several states have gotten a new craft section already. This store just got theirs. And then look at that. It's a very small cutting mat for a dollar. He grabbed it for me. I was like, yay. So we got that going on. I'm super excited about that. <sighs> Came in handy. And you can see the mess. I have the scraps. I have a cup of coffee over there. More scraps. I just have a mess. <laughs> but it's worth it, guys. It's really worth it. I did order the bags. The cellophane bags. And I should be getting them Thursday. No later than Friday. But for some reason, uh, Amazon says one day. And they actually deliver a date early. So I'm praying for Wednesday. I'm hoping that I will have these all done by Wednesday. The only thing I still have left to do, which is the final step, I guess, I don't even know, is to choose what paper pad or pads I will use as backgrounds for these. Embellishments, stickers, paper pads, uh, you know, whatever it is that I need to do. And I'm getting the baggies. So I'm praying that these will be done and ready to be gone by Friday. Friday, believe it or not, guys, a week. I plan to have all 100 done. So I am super excited. I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to attach Linda's link, Linda's Thrifty Life. I'm going to attach my sweet, Christina Michigan, in the description box. I'm going to attach Jay in the description box. Ladies, thank you so much, so, so much for your support and your help. It is so greatly appreciated. Thank you guys. I do have, I'm waiting on some more material and I will have another video up by Monday. I'm supposedly, Eli's coming this weekend. So you guys know when Eli's around, I do not do much crafting. <laughs> guys, take care. I love you. Bye.